Hello. In this video I want to show you how use the Oldable service that can give you free Turkish virtual card. You can use this card to pay in almost all Turkish shops and services like Steam, Discord, Epic Games, and many others. Oldable is a mobile application that can be installed on Android or iOS. To install this app you can just use the link in the description or use search in Play Market or App Store. If you use this app first time you have to register. Tap on the register button. Then enter some name and surname. I just use my nicknames. Agree with the terms of service, just flag the last checkbox. Tap, next. Enter your phone number, it can be any region number, you can use your own number here. Then wait when they send you SMS with some confirmation code. Usually it takes less one minute. But if you don't get any SMS you can try to do the same in some hours, or use another number. You can even use virtual number of some online services, I will leave them in the description. After that set your password, it's 6 digit password, you have to enter this password every time when you open this app. And now you can use this application. Now you have virtual Turkish MasterCard. Go to, my wallet. As you can see I have one card here. You can get all card information, to do that click on this card, tap, view card info, and now you get card number, CVV code, and expiry date. That's all what you need to pay in any online stores. I have to say, you now need to verify this account by your ID or passport. But you have one limit, you can add to this card only 1250 Turkish Liras in one month. That's almost $70. But you can verify your account and use it without limits. And now I have to talk about how to replenish this virtual card. There are some methods, services, exchangers, or Binance. Use these timestamps to navigate. The first one is the easiest method. But here you lose quite a lot of money. Just go to plotty.market. In search bar enter, oldable. And now you can choose seller you want. You can choose here more profitable for you. Check this price and the real exchange rate. So you will lose some of your money. Read the instruction of the needed seller, and buy Liras. For example, here you need to enter your card number. Then just pay with the most convenient payment method. It takes about 15 minutes for me. So I get my Liras. As you can see there is an extra commission, 2.5%. This method is the most unprofitable in this video. The next method is Binance. The method is that you buy some crypto like USDT with your own credit card, and sell it for Turkish Liras. Or maybe you already have some crypto on your Binance. You can find this link in the description. You have to register here and verify your account with your ID or passport. There are two methods to add money to Binance, but anyway you must have any credit or debit card. After you register here click, buy crypto, select, debit or credit card. Enter amount of money you want to add and select the crypto you want to buy, I usually use USDT. Add new card. Then just add your card. It requires, card number, name, expiry date and CVV. Here you add your region card, not oldable. Then just make a payment with your card. You can also add money using peer-to-peer -peer trading. Go to trade, P2P. In fiat, select your currency. And then you get all offers to buy USDT. See, this is a payment method of this offer, find the needed one. Click buy, enter amount of USDT you want to buy. Then click, buy USDT. Now you placed an order. You have to ask this seller to give you card number or payment method in the chat. Then they have to send you number of card in this chat. Use this number to send money, in my case it's $10. Then after you sent money click, transferred, and you will get your USDT. Okay, I have some ASDT on my Binance account and I want to transfer it to the Oldable Turkish card. How to do that? Go to peer to peer again, but select here, sell. In fiat field select the Turkish Lira currency. You can enter amount of Liras if you want to see the needed offers because some sellers have limits. Click, sell USDT. Enter how much Liras you want to get. Click, set my payment method. Find, Zerat Bank. Ok go to your Oldable application. Go to my wallet, deposit money, deposit via bank transfer. Scroll to the end, select here the bank, you need Zerat Bank. And then copy this IBAN. Paste it to Binance. You don't need to enter other fields. Click confirm and verify it using SMS. Then your card added to the Binance account. I don't know why I can't sell USDT here, but the best way is go to Express. Select, sell. Enter amount of USDT you want to sell. Click sell. Then select the payment method, we need Zerat that I just added. Flag this checkbox, and click, confirm sale. And now you placed order again. Here I enter all Oldabill data to deposit money from the app, IBAN, name on the card, and card number. Wait some time. As you can see I successfully got Turkish Liras to my Oldable card. 
Click Payment Received. The last method in this video is using exchangers. I have one website, this is an exchanger monitor, that is you can get all legit exchangers here. The link in the description. Check this table, in the second column select, Visa or MasterCard for Turkish Lira. In the first column you select what you have to sell, for example I have some USDT, I select Tether. You can use any other payment method like Perfect Money or Payer. Then you get all exchangers that you can use to transfer money. But make sure you have a limit and oldable if your account is unverified. It's 1250 liras or $70. Here you can sell your USDT or another currency for Turkish Lira. In this video I showed you all methods to replenish Turkish card that I know. If you have any other please write a comment about it. You can use your oldable Turkish card to make payments in Turkish stores. I can make more videos how to pay in some popular stores with this oldable card if you want it. Thank you for watching.